Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have a double Golden Ticket gameplay. Now if you guys haven't seen the video that I did yesterday, I did Mike Vick gameplay, check that video out. And also today I announced a double Golden Ticket Mike Vick giveaway. Check that video out from this morning. Definitely check that video if you guys want to enter for a double Mike Vick giveaway, one on each console and also there was an extra little surprise thing going on which i'll start to reveal the first hints starting tomorrow should be so be on the lookout for that but today we do have kelvin benjamin and troy palomalu gameplay i do want to give a shout out though to luke bulk for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to be shouted out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub to the channel turn that notification bell on and comment down below noti gang by the way you guys are blowing me out of the water. We are up to 152,000 subscribers. We literally just hit 150K two days ago. I cannot say thank you guys enough. You guys have been absolutely insane. But you guys can see today we do have Kelvin Benjamin, 96 speed, 99 jumping, 99 catch, 99 catch traffic, and spec catch, and short route running. This card looks crazy. 96 medium, 95 deep. Now, you guys can all see it does have 98 acceleration. His run black is a 6-2. I also want to mention that I'm using John Madden passing tier 2, and also I'm using John Madden rush defense tier 2, so you see that on Troy P. Uh, and also, of course, I have John Madden with plus 1 speed, uh, maxed out sprinter, west coast, maxed out. Now, he does have 90 spin with 91 juke move, also 92 stiff arm, and a 69 impact. In terms of his abilities, they're actually pretty good. So I'm going with double me here. Tier one, we are going with the in post elite. You could go with playmaker. I don't really tend to playmaker a lot though. I am actually going with route apprentice though for his tier two. He actually has one slot of every single one. So he has like deep threat, everything like that. Tier three, honestly, we're doing it for the meme because this is a meme card. We're putting evasive on Kelvin Benjamin. So I'm going to try to get a lot of rack on with him. I could definitely go with something else that may make him better as an actual receiver, but I think it'd just be so funny to see Kelvin Benjamin with Evasive out there. And Tier 4, I'm going with a Streak Specialist because I definitely plan on having him on a bunch of streaks. And as I said, with Kelvin Benjamin, the person who made him made it so you guys can actually get a deep threat, a route runner, a slot, and a physical. So, four different ones, <laughs> Evasive Kelvin Benjamin. And then we also got Golden Ticket, Troy Palomalu, as you guys can see, 98 speed, 99 excel, 79 strength, 99 tackling, and play rec, and zone, with 98 head power, 91 block shed. I do want to mention as well, like I did say, I'm using, I think I'm using John Madden with the Rush D, and yes, I am. So he does get one block shed, one play rec, one head power, one tackle, and also one pursuit on him. Uh, also, when it comes to Troy, you can't use middle linebacker and strong safety. You guys know I love strong safety Troy P., I can't use him for this gameplay, which definitely sucks. But you can see, in terms of his abilities, you got 93 agility, uh, 87 catching, jumping is a 98. Doesn't even matter if he's 5 foot 10, whatever. This card looks ridiculous. In terms of pass rush, he also has a 77 finesse move, so you can send him on blitz if you want to. And I know I've seen a lot of people talking about, well, he's 5'10, what are we gonna do? Well, Lurker. That's what you do. But you guys see those Zone Hawk for his X Factor. Tier 1, he's got Run Stoppers, Strip Specialist, uh, Pick Artist. He has Enforcer, Lurker. This card's looking honestly really good. Uh, we are going to go with Run Stopper, of course. So Run Stopper and Lurker. And then we're also going to go with Enforcer here. And the final one is going to be Strip Specialist. I actually tend to go for strips a lot more than like hit sticks. So makes perfect sense for me. I, of course, am going to use her on him. Lurker's gonna be crazy, Run Stopper, Enforcer, this card's gonna be nuts. Let's get into it. Looking to take your game of Madden 20 to another level? Check out Hot Route Tips and get access to ebooks, tips, and schemes from Madden pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. Well, that is gonna be my opponent's top three, Lamar Jackson, Keekly, and Tory Holt. That's a nasty top three. So let's see if we can get going on the first play. He does have Barry Sanders, so that's kind of scary. And Lamar Jackson, he's got a deadly duo of speed. But Troy Palomalu definitely seems really fast and a great tackle there from Peppers, I think. He's coming on five wide now. I definitely have to make sure that I have my QB spy set up with Peppers so I can actually watch out for Lamar Jackson. 
He still might be able to scramble a little bit depending on the angles that he goes at, but hopefully Clowney and TJ Watt can get around the edge fast enough as I'm using on Troy. Nice throw. Let's see what he goes to here on second down. Looks like he is going to be passing the ball. I'm watching out over the middle with Troy. Nothing's going to be open. He's going to try to take off, and he really just hit a spin move on Peppers. I guess that was a good play by him there to actually hit that spin on Peppers, and I feel like he might try to throw a little corner or something. I'm watching out over the middle. Nothing's open. We get some pressure, and we get the sack. All right, guys, so we've got Calvin Johnson and Calvin Benjamin both activated for this game. I decided I'd use two wide receivers just because I'm obviously not going to be running the ball at all that much as I'm going to look for Calvin Benjamin here. Can we fit it in? That was an awful pass. That was an absolutely terrible pass. Out of all of the times that I've ran that exact play right there with that exact route, I don't remember Patrick Holmes ever overthrowing the ball like that. That is pretty weird, but... Second inch is coming up, see what we can do. Clowney's coming in, and he's going to take off and scramble into Julius Peppers. Hopefully, he won't overthrow Kelvin Benjamin again, and it was actually a pretty nice route. He was pretty open there. He definitely wanted him to catch that ball. As I'm going to watch it over here to the left side, goes down the middle of the field, and Byron Jones didn't make the play. This guy's played some pretty solid defense so far. He's really just getting to me before I can throw down the field, which, truthfully... I really want to throw down the field a lot. Kelvin Benjamin, though, down the field. Good catch. So Kelvin finally made his first catch there. Now I'm looking to go to him again on the corner. Should be open. Kelvin Benjamin with the toe tap catch. I really want to take advantage of his evasive as well. Like, I really want to try to get him the ball here. So I'm going to try to spin move, which he does. Kelvin Benjamin with evasive. Okay, that just looks hilarious. Kelvin Benjamin should never be able to juke out that many people on one play. That is just ridiculous. But I'm going to look for him here back at the end zone. High point fade. No, he dropped that. I'm so disappointed that Kelvin couldn't come down with that pass. But let's see if he can actually get it done here. I have him on a streak. I know he's in double coverage, but I'm still going to chuck it up. And complete. And if you guys didn't notice by now, I am going to force feed the crap out of Kelvin. Like every single play, I'm literally looking to go strictly to him. Now, I should probably mix it up a little bit before my opponent kind of realizes that and just targets in on Kelvin. But we'll see what we can do as we get the sack and we get the TD. I would have gone down to the one. But literally every single play, expect me to be looking for Kelvin Benjamin. As I'm looking down the seams here, he's going to throw it in Troy, and that's luckily not intercepted. Third and ten, got to keep up that QB spy with Julius Peppers to keep up with Lamar. And aside from that, his offense has really not been too hard to stop, but it looks like he's going to be going deeper actually to a corner, and we get the sack. I think he had Tyreek open on a post. Let's see if we can just hit Kelvin here on this drag. I mean, you guys can see he's literally usering on him now because he knows that's exactly where I want to go. But we still get the ball to him there and hit a juggle break, a tackle. Kelvin Benjamin still going down to the 14. Kelvin Benjamin, what a monster. This card is insane. He should not be this glitchy. I mean, this is ridiculous. Let's go to him here. He's going to be one-on-one. -on -one and I'm going to, oh, I couldn't get the ball off. I couldn't get the ball off there, but again, I'm looking to go to Kel. I mean, Kittle is so wide open. How can I not throw to George Kittle there? Had to get the easy TD. That Kelvin Benjamin card is honestly so hilariously good. It's just ridiculous. Like, how many broken tackles he had. And like I said, I have to throw to other people. That way my opponent doesn't just focus in on only Kelvin Benjamin. So throwing to the tight end there probably will help me out in the long run. Oh, I dare you to throw to Troy. Troy Polabalu finally coming away with an interception. There we go. We finally got a user pick there with Troy. And of course, we're looking to go to Kelvin Benjamin down the field here. If the pass rush doesn't get to me, I'm going to chuck it up one-on-one. -on -one and he snags it out of the air away from Keekly. And Kelvin has got double me activated now. And I'm going right down the seams. If there's not two people here, I am definitely throwing I don't even care. I'm still throwing it outside shoulder. Can he go up and get it? Kelvin Benjamin. Oh, my God. Kelvin so far has got six catches for 176 yards and a TD. He does have the one drop, but wow. Just absolutely wow, man. Definitely looking to go to Kelvin Benjamin again here on the corner route. Can we fit it in? And that's a great catch. Now, we do obviously know that we're going to be getting like a Randy Moss or whatever, but Kelvin Benjamin, man, he's been impressive, and I'm definitely going to him here. One-on-one -on -one situation. Can he snag it? Oh my god! This card is insane! I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. Like, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous to me. I'm looking to go to Kelvin, though. Can he come down with it? One-on-one -on -one fade! 
I've never seen that animation before. I honestly don't think I've ever seen that animation trigger before. Now, I'm gonna be honest here, I don't really throw a lot of fades as we get an interception here with Dion, but I don't throw a lot of fades. Holy crap. And it looks like my opponent is going to be quitting the game now. Please let me see his receiving 10 catches for 280 yards and two TDs. So guys, that was the gameplay. Kelvin Benjamin and Troy Polamalu. I don't even know what to say about Kelvin Benjamin. I mean, holy crap. The animations that he was getting, the plays that he made out of this world. I can't lie. I, I really didn't think he was going to be that good. I may keep this card. Like, I straight up may keep Kelvin Benjamin. Troy Palmalu was a fun card to use. It was a great card as well. Probably not worth the 3 million coins, but Kelvin Benjamin, 1.8. I don't like to pay that much at all for players, but he might be sticking around. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. And, of course, hit that sub button down below. If you guys watched all the way to the end, comment down below, Biscuit. If you get that reference, you're amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.